So in this video, I'm going to go over just a couple of things that I'm getting a lot of questions about. Lots of people are having issues um, when they are skinning and peeling, making their own transitions and stuff like that. Some people are having problems with the peel actually sticking and keeping its conform whenever you wrap it around uh, a transition or something. They're saying it's trying to bubble up. I want to go over that and show you guys how to get perfect creases and everything in your product and then also people whenever they're doing a long transition that exceeds the length of the vinyl plank but in two pieces of peel together there there's a lot of concern about that how they get it. a lot of times whenever you're peeling off your plank you get that little bitty thick stuff on the end i want to show you how to do that rather than uh let me just get into it right off the bat i will go ahead and uh i'll show you about conforming your peel and getting it exactly like you want it and it's staying the main issue about that is uh the heat a lot of people i believe this is my thoughts i feel like people are too scared to heat the plank uh peel up enough they're afraid they're gonna distort it damage it burn it scorch it whatever i don't know but i feel like that's the main cause for uh it not conforming because if you get it heated up good enough and you have your transition clean then it's going to get a good stick so i honestly don't know of any other reason ouch, that a person would have trouble with it sticking <clears throat> oh and that is why the plank skinner is awesome <clears throat> just because of this right here if you can see a little bit of white and distortion where there where that got stretched out people are concerned about that too and also that goes right along with the proper heat if you're not getting it hot enough that's not going to disappear so you see me struggling trying to get that off there this right here makes all the difference the wider the planks the harder it is to get off uh, this plank skinner right here takes all the work out of it, literally. There we go. So this line right here where I initially broke it from the back, it's got a distinct white line and it's just a little cloudy looking right here, okay? The dramatic heating, I want to do it from the back. And you can just see it. See that? It's just laying and flattening right out there all by itself. Now, any stretch or distortion in that is going to be gone when I flip this back over. You'll see. I'm just going to get this thing flat right here real fast. Don't be scared to overheat it. If you if you are a little scared to overheat it, just test it. Take your little uh, test piece and see how much it'll stand and see how much it'll take. So look at there. All the distortion, the little white line is out of it. It literally just shrink right back up where it belongs okay people say they're having a problem with it uh not sticking to a bend or something like that if they take it and wrap it over a reducer or something like that i want to show you something here okay i'm going to get this real warm okay i hope you can see the flexibility and stuff in that you see that i mean it is just super duper duper pliable i mean that's more flexible than any type of traditional glue down vinyl or anything okay so you can get it super hot without hurting it now i want to just show you i'm just going to lay this right over i'm going to give a complete bend in it and i'm going to let it cool for just a second and you'll see that that will actually stay bent over without damage but it'll keep the form without any adhesive without any tape without anything on it okay so this is cool now to that shape and that will just stay there it's not going to try to bleh, straighten back out or anything looky so you see that it's just a matter of of getting it warm enough and letting it cool and it will keep the shape that it cools to no matter what, if you're having problems with it sticking, 
this is what I use. This is by all means the best and the easiest and less messy. This stuff works freaking awesome. It's like a scrim. Let me uh, peel this off right here and just show you. So you can see that. That is, it's like a fabric almost on the inside of it. I'm going to try to pull it apart. I've never done this before, so I'm going to see how it acts when I try to pull on it. Yeah, so it's not even going to, it's not even going to pull at all. Oh, there it went. You can see the pressure I was having to put on that. Anyway, it did rip, but it was just like a fiber. I think it's got uh, some kind of cloth mesh or something into it. I've not done any asking or research on exactly what this is made of, but it is super strong. If you are wanting to make a seam in your peel once it's on there, don't cut across your peel and try to get two nice straight edges, whether you're straight edging or whatever. Don't try to seal that up as, a, as two cut pieces. Use your factory edges on that. So if you can see the edge, the very edge of that has a brown line on it, okay? A lot of this stuff nowadays is beveled right at the edge. If you butt two of these up together, two of the peels up, it's just going to look like uh, two vinyl plank pieces going together. So leave these factory edges on there instead of cutting across it and trying to make two, two cut pieces go together. It's going to look much more natural with two edges, two factory edges going together. <laughs> Okay, so as I was saying, as I was saying just a while ago on the very end, let me check this plank and see if it done it. A lot of times on the end, you'll have a little bit of extra thickness right here on the end. You see that dark line right there? I'll show you how to prevent that because if you have those two thick ends together, it's going to be a little ridge going across your transition. So I want to show you how to take care of that as well. I want to get as close as I can with my peel, with my plank skinner. Okay, now I'm going to stop right there and back it out and just do the rest of it by hand so I can be super easy with it right here, okay? Now, so that don't peel the edge of that. So I don't have a thick spot right there. I want to real gently just like that right there this ain't going to be too awful bad because i'm only doing a little one inch section there right there now i'm able to work that super easy see how that's coming off clean there ain't no thick spot left on there like there was on the other one there's no dark line or anything like that from it just taking it nice and easy and clean a lot of times what happens if you do it fast it'll just snap it'll snap this little lip off right here where the other plank joins into it and you'll end up with that little piece of extra thickness right on the edge of that. There we go. Okay. Nice and clean factory edge right here. No thickness. We have our factory edge here. I want to take this peel and I want to use it on this transition and I'll show you exactly how I want to butt those two together. All right, now I've got two pieces on there. Now what I want to do, again, to make sure I get a good adhesion on that, uh, this is just wet with water. You can either, it's not wringing wet, it has been sitting for a few minutes, it's just basically damp. Uh, let me show you something first. So look at my britches right here. There's dark, there ain't, it's just, they're just clean, okay? But watch this. Whenever I wipe the back of this over, watch what happens here. So see this powder? This is going to prevent your uh, peel from sticking. So what you want to do with that, you can't hardly notice it even just like that even. But if you wipe it, you can see what happens. You get a bunch of powdery substance off the back of this, even though nothing's happened to it. It's still got just a little powdery feel on it from the actual peel itself. So this is just a damp rag. I want to wipe over it and get rid of that little dusty uh, substance that's on the back of it. I'll show you this rag here in just a second. So you can see it now here even on that. It looks a little chalky looking on there. So that's another thing that you've got to do to make sure you get a good adhesion on this. I'm going to do the same thing. 
just with this transition piece again just to make sure there's no dust or anything on it you want your stuff nice and clean anytime you adhere anything you should always make sure it's nice and dust free for you can get a good adhesion on that i'm going to take my paper right here and let's see here about center of that and i'm just going to tear it right off just like this now i'm doing this so i can use this to set it on on the floor that way i'm not getting my sticky all over the floor okay this is my factory edge that I want to seam to, so I stopped about centered of it right there. Now you can get really creative if you're working on a vinyl plank and you wanted to match it up right there uh, or something like that. Just make your transition, you know, to start right there. That way it looks like your piece flows right over, right over the transition and it just makes your transition blend in really nice. So again, I want to just start about right there, just allowing enough to uh, go over this side and over that side there. You got to make sure you got enough to go both directions and lay it right flat down on there. Okay, I'm not going to get too crazy with rolling it yet because I want to heat it up. So you see these little bubbles and stuff like that? That honestly might prevent this from setting flat down on the floor. As a matter of fact, it probably will. So how I take care of that, how I avoid that, I'm going to heat the whole bottom piece of it up here. I'm going to get it real warm. Smash it flat down on the floor. And just let that set and cool for just a second. For the other side, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to peel this off and use it to set it on. And one thing I want to point out there, we do not want to uh, heat this seam up while we are adhering it. You might say, oh, it's going to make it work good. Well, what happens is if you heat it up and then when it cools, it's going to try to, uh, there will be a tiny gap there. I assure you, I've done it myself. That's how I know it will be a mistake. So go ahead and take your peel. Just treat this just like any other vinyl seam or anything like that. Place that together really good. After you get it together, then you can heat it up and be done with it but until then do not heat do not do this while it's all hot okay notice i am rubbing it to my seam just like a vinyl seam that's exactly what you want to do okay we got that stuck there now this is all secured i'm going to go ahead and place my other end right over in it as well so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead and heat this up and roll it down in there really good like I did a while ago and make sure my seam is all stuck really good before I go bending it or anything like that again this tape holds super good so getting it warm and wiping it clean I'm not gonna have any problem I assure you Okay. All right, so take a look right here at this seam. I can let go of it there. So that looks just like a seam in the board. That's exactly what it's going to look like all the way around as soon as we get done with it. Okay, we got it all completely wrapped up and ready to go now. I'll let you take a look at the seam and just the solidness of it. You can tell it's real nice and solid. There's no uh, bubbles. The joint looks really good, nice and flat. It looks just like a piece. It looks just like a seam that would be in the flooring itself. And right here it is on the piece of vinyl plank that it matches itself. So right there, that's what it'll be. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful match. Real nice, super, 
super solid, just like the piece of oak that it's on. So this right here is by all means the best uh, way to do a vinyl plank transition. Absolutely, hands down, the best way to do them. It, the little plastic pieces that they come, that the vinyl plank comes with, they're not worth having. I assure you they're breaking up. You always see them popping loose for people to try to glue the plastic with liquid nail and stuff like that. That stuff just don't work. Some guys will nail it down with uh, nails and then it splits and cracks. They don't work. This is the way to do your transitions, okay? Uh, again, it's Make It Match. Look right here. Makeitmatch.com. I'm going to leave links in the description of this video so showing you where you can get these tools that you can get just this package you can just get these items right here for i i want to say 155 dollars 160 dollars something like that so it's super affordable i mean look at here i said i get uh 50 dollars per transition so three doorways and this is paid for every other time i use it after that 100% profit and it's super easy a lot easier you can't see me struggle with that seven inch plank It's super hard to rip some of that stuff off some of it is easy some of it's hard so It's all easy when you got this anyway uh, I'll leave links again. I'm going to leave links to everything here uh, in the description if you're interested Thank you guys for tuning in to the channel until next time FBSB's out